Hello, I'm Yunayu. Today we will study how to draw clothes together. Drawing clothes is very complicated when you start, but through practice and study, it will become more familiar for you. Don't struggle too much by yourself and let's draw it together. When you draw clothes, it's important to find the reference first. After finding your reference, put the photo next to the drawing space. Draw the pose first. After you draw the pose, you draw the clothes. When drawing clothes, don't make it too complicated. Draw the big shape first, add details like ribbon or pattern after drawing the clothes. When you draw clothes, you have to change the shape to fit the character's form. When you draw the shape of your clothes, the movement of your clothes is also important. When you draw a skirt, draw it in a simple shape and then divide the lines. Anyone can draw easily if you remember the pattern of clothes. When drawing wrinkles on clothes, it is better to understand how to draw clothes through simple drawings. If you start with something too complicated from the beginning, the shape will collapse. So simply draw it first. If you start to draw clothes, don't put wrinkles right away. Draw the shape first and choose the point. If you draw the direction of the wrinkle according to the point, you can draw clothes more naturally. When I draw wrinkles on clothes, I think of them as cylinders. Sketch the wrinkles while thinking about the shape of the cylinder. If you're confused, it's a good idea to refer to Pinterest or Google. The pattern of wrinkles I use on the clothes is similar across all my art. I use this pattern because I'm looking for simplification. When I draw clothes, I only use the line that I need. If you use a lot of unnecessary lines, your sense of form will collapse. Your overall balance will be broken. That's why it's better to think about the line you need and draw the lines. This method can be applied not only to clothes but also to items such as bag and doll. Also, if you put on the character's clothes, it will be larger than the human body you first sketched. So the shape of the face and legs will be drawn in proportion. When you draw clothes, it's a good idea to try drawing your favorite character. If you try drawing up your favorite characters in different clothes, you will have more fun drawing. When you draw clothes, it's good to think about the texture of the clothes. Depending on the texture, how you draw the lines will be different. It's a good idea to reference the illustrations. It's also good to study how your favorite artist draw wrinkles. If you study with my drawing, I will be very grateful. When you draw clothes, it's good to think about the character's movement and pose. There are still poses like this, but there can be also be character poses with action or arm raised. In this case, starting as a character from your favorite animation is recommended. 
in animation, since the character moves, it is recommended to draw various poses and movements after capturing them. I've been practicing this way, I really recommend it because starting with your favorite character is a more enjoyable way to study painting and drawing. Thank you so much for watching the video and have a good day.